So I'm gonna set up a little demonstration showing how a sprinkler head works. So basically what I'm doing here is I got my sprinkler head, I got a little bit of an adapter here, and I'm gonna mount it to the other side of the steel plate I drilled into. And once that's in place, I'm gonna get my uh, air hose modified with an end on here that'll screw in the top. I'm going to fill this with water. So this will be full of water, and then I'll hook this up to my compressor, probably around 20 PSI or so, we'll see, maybe 30. And then I'm going to put a flame to that bulb right there, and that'll shatter, and then you'll see how the sprinkler head works, hopefully. I get one shot at this, so let's see if it works. Alrighty, so I got the sprinkler head in place, air hose hooked up. There's about 40 PSI in here of just air. I just want to make sure there's no leaks, which there isn't, which is good. So now I just got to figure out how to make that more solid so it's not wobbling, uh, which I'll probably use that glue in the back there for that. And then I'm going to be using this torch to heat up that glass little bulb here. That'll shatter and hopefully the water and the pressure will blow out and I'll show you how it works. As you saw, it worked perfectly. All the glass shattered away. The uh, water sprayed down, diverted from the fan here. I had to bend these tabs there to save my camera so it wouldn't shoot back at my camera. So let's dive in, take a closer look. When a fire reaches a sprinkler head, the flame will heat up the liquid inside this little glass bulb, causing it to expand and then shatter in the glass. And once it shatters, as you can see, the water sprays down and the little fan underneath will disperse the water within the coverage area of the sprinkler head. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please check out my page, subscribe, and hit the bell on the bottom, and I'll see you on the next one.